This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. It really gives a false narrative of the market. So we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, Morgan Stanley is being sued for $750 million by private equity firms <laughs> for breach of contract and fraud related to the Bright Line train station that runs in South East Florida. And also they're building the Bright Line route between Las Vegas and LA. Now what these companies are saying is that Morgan Stanley deliberately misrepresented their position. And not only that, they allege that Morgan Stanley kept documents out of the contract so they couldn't see exactly what was going on and the purpose of it was so that morgan stanley could make billions of dollars doing banking business with brightline morgan stanley had a vested interest in making sure they invested in the company that they invested in the railway because they would benefit from it. And critical, important information that should have been in the contract was deliberately taken out so they couldn't see all the risk. Of course, Morgan Stanley is saying that they did not do that. But based on everything I'm reading, a crucial document that should have been in the contract that might have changed their decision to lend them the money to move ahead with Brightline would not have been done. So at this point, Morgan Stanley is at risk of losing $750 million. And who knows if it's proven that they deliberately withdrew this information from the contracts, they could end up in the trillions of dollars in punitive damages. And... If Morgan Stanley is lending money to short a shorting AMC, this could really eat into their bottom line, eat into the liquidity, and hopefully stop those shorters from shorting AMC, GME, PLTR, and the other MEM stocks. But do I believe that Morgan Stanley is capable of engaging in fraud and misrepresentation? Look at everything that's been going on with AMC, GME, and the other mem stocks for the last 30 months. These bad actors are capable of doing anything to make a buck. They don't have a conscience. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think Morgan Stanley is capable of lying and deliberately withholding information to potential investors? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.